Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mood. Here we have interesting exponential equation 8 to the power x plus 2 to the power x equal to 68. If you know an answer or if you feel an answer, write your suggestion in a comment or, or write your solution in a comment. So let's try to solve this. Let's try to simplify this a little bit. So we have all different bases, but we have the same exponent x. So we can simplify this 8 a little bit. We can write this 8 for sure as 2 cube. Let's, let's do this. 2 cube to the power x plus 2 to the power x equal to 68. The next step we can do is we're going to use the rule of interchange. So if we have, for example, 8 to the power b to the power x, it will be equal to a to the power x all raised to the power b. So for sure we can we can swap these exponents. So let's do this. 2 to the power x cube plus 2 to the power x equal to 68. Just use this rule of interchange. So we have 2 to the power x and 2 to the power x. So we can substitute this 2 to the power x, for sure we can let this 2 to the power x as, for example, t. So we will have interesting cube equation. t cube plus t. I will take this 68 on the left, minus 68 equal to 0. So we have an interesting cube equation because we don't have square, we, have, we don't have t square, we just have the third power, the first power and 68. So I want to suggest you how to solve this. For sure we can find the factors of this 68. So what the factors it will be? Factors. For sure 1, 2, 4, 34, 68. So let's try to check Let's try to check this one. 1 plus 1 minus 68 is not equal to 0. So this, this root it's it's bad for us. Let's let's check 2. 2 plus 2 cubed plus 2 minus 68. It will be equal to 2 cubed 8 plus 2 10 minus 68. It will be minus 58, so with this root it's not good for us. Let's check 4. 4 cube plus 4 minus 68. It will be equal to 4 cube 64 plus 4 68 minus 68. It will be equal to 0. So this root is good for us. And checking 34 and 68 is not necessary because this root it's not going to, to be good for us because we will have 34 cube and 68 cube. So these roots is not good for us because it's not good for our equation. So we will have the first root 4. So let's check if we have more roots. So we have the first roots t1 is equal to 4. So let's rewrite this equation in a different way. So I need to have t minus 4 near these variables and near these values. So how can I do this? For sure I'll do a little bit trick. So first of all I write t cube, then I write minus t square and plus t square. So this will be equal to 0, but I use this trick a little bit later. So the next step I have t, but I need t minus 4. So I write minus 16t and plus 17t. This is equal to 1, is good for us, and minus 68, equal to 0. So I write this it is equal to 0 and this equal to t. So I change, I change nothing. So let's take t square right here as a common, let's take 4t as a common and 4 
or 17 as a common. So I will have t square and in parentheses I will have t minus 4 from here. Let's take 4t from here as a common. So I will have plus 4t and in parentheses t minus 4. And let's take 17 from here as a common. So I will have plus 17 and in parentheses t minus 4 equal to 0. So I have t minus 4, t minus 4 and t minus 4. So I can take it as a common. So t minus 4 and in parentheses I will have t square plus 4t and plus 17 equal to 0. For sure, if product equal to 0, this parenthesis equal to 0 and this equal to 0 as well. So we have these roots right here, t1 is equal to 4. So let's solve this, because maybe we, we have two more roots. So t square plus 4t plus 17 equal to 0. Let's find our t. t1 and 2 will be equal to. So we know that a equal to 1, b equal to 4, and c equal to 17. So let's write our solution to this equation. Minus 4 plus minus square root of 4 square minus 4 times 17 and all over 2. So let's simplify this a little bit. But I can see that this root will be less than 0 because 16 minus 4 times 17 it will for sure it will be this square root. 4 square minus 4 times 17 is less than 0. So this equation will have two complex roots. So we don't need this root. And this equation does not have a solution in real numbers. So we only have one solution, t is equal to 4 and let's go to our substitution so we have 2 to the power x as a t so we will have an, an final equation 2 to the power x equal to 4 and for sure x equal to 2 and this is one and only solution and we will show this right here because this equation will have two complex roots we don't need these roots we only have x equal to 2 in real numbers so this is our solution. If you have any suggestion, write your suggestion in a comment. And thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.